Hi gang, I'm my radar meteorologist Matthew Capucci. A major winter storm is possible in the Northeast this weekend with heavy snow, strong winds, coastal flooding, and low visibilities. Four or five days remain until the storm hits, but already signs are pointing towards something hefty. And of course, if you're joining us on YouTube, be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot more great science content coming out, including some really neat explainer videos. It's not a question of if, but rather where and when. We know the ingredients will probably come together for a high impact winter storm, but timing remains uncertain. If things get going sooner, the Mid-Atlantic could be in play too. Farther offshore, and it's mainly an event for I-95 in New England, including in Providence, Boston, and Portland, Maine. On Tuesday, the instigating ingredients were moving ashore over extreme northwestern North America. The first was located over the Seward Peninsula near Nome, Alaska, and the second was in the Chukchi Sea over the Arctic. Here's the former, which will dive southeast over the Four Corners region in the coming days. It shows up really prominently on water vapor satellite imagery. The twin disturbances are short waves, or lobes of high altitude cold air, low pressure, and spin nestled within dips in the jet stream. That pair of systems will phase or overlap over the Appalachians late Thursday into Friday. We also have cold high pressure that will be in control on Thursday, which will help reinforce cold air in place over the Northeast. As the mid-level system becomes organized, it will lend some support to a nascent surface low that will spin up offshore of the outer banks. That low will push northeast and pass off Cape Cod on Friday night or early Saturday morning. This surface low should rapidly intensify at a pace necessary to classify it as a bomb cyclone. There's a remote chance that it could double that requisite rate of strengthening. Sam Lilo, a NOAA researcher, tweeted that the rate of maturation simulated by the likely over-exuberant European model would rival that of some of the most quickly intensifying Atlantic hurricanes on record. There's not much to shunt the storm inland and make it a warm inside runner, meaning most folks who get precipitation should wind up with snow. The question is whether the storm passes over the 40 north 70 west benchmark and becomes a southern New England blockbuster, or if it passes a little farther east towards out to sea. The European model's envelope of simulated possibilities is a little bit more bullish in a so-called classic winter storm path, which would spell heavy snows from just northeast of New York City all the way to down east Maine. Half a foot or more of snow would be possible on Cape Cod, in Boston, and along the New Hampshire seacoast. The American GFS model suppresses the storm a bit farther southeast, but impacts would still occur along I-95 with a plowable snowfall at the coast. Regardless of which ends up transpiring, now's a good time to gas up those snowblowers just in case and make sure you have backup plans if you have to travel on Saturday. Strong winds near the coast could also top 45 miles per hour with gusts over 60 miles per hour across the Cape and the islands. In addition, we'll see high astronomical tides, which means a greater propensity for coastal flooding and beach erosion. Situate Harbor, the Sandwich Boardwalk, Barnes Bull, all those typically vulnerable locations are going to really want to watch this closely. The same is true on Long Island. Behind the storm on Sunday, much cooler air will spill south and east. Highs on Monday may be 10 to 20 degrees below average. We'll be watching this storm every step of the way. Keep it tuned to MyRadar on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, be sure to download the MyRadar app. Follow My Radar on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.